If you're on the fence between getting the P365 or the P365XL, I'm going to hopefully give you enough information that you'll be able to make a decision. So let's go take a look. Welcome back, and thanks for joining Ty the Gun Guy! First question you're going to ask yourself, how am I going to use a P365? It's going to be just for concealed carry. Am I going to conceal carry, take it to the range? I want to have some optic fun. What is the main reason I want this firearm? For video purposes, we are clear, the gun is empty magazine is empty. This is the P365 regular here. For size comparison, the overall length on the 365 is 5.8 inches versus the XL, which would be 6.6 .6 inches. So the width on the 365 you can see is under an inch. They do say it is one inch and that could probably be with the uh, slide release and that type of stuff. But the actual width up top is under one inch and they say the XL is 1.1 inches. Barrel length on the 365 is 3.1 inches. On the 365 XL, it's be 3.7 inches on the barrel length. With the flush magazine, the standard 365 is going to be 4.3 inches, and I believe that's gonna be right to the far point there, but that's 4.3 inches. On the XL, it's going to be 4.8 inches, so it's going to be quite a bit longer. Let's talk about the weight on these things with empty magazines, the 10-round flush magazine. The P365 standard is 17.8 ounces. The XL with the 12-round magazine it comes with is going to be 20.7 ounces on the XL. Both the 365 and the 365 XL are going to come with the X-ray 3 day and night sights. Those are going to be pretty awesome. The 365 does not come optics ready. There is a company online, there might be a couple of them that actually do some milling work and they will do a cutout for optic ready for the 365. That is one big point of the 365 XL. Take a look here, you can see that it is optics ready. Let's talk triggers. On the 365 standard, it is a round standard trigger. On the 365 XL, it is the X-Series flat trigger. It breaks at 90 degrees, which is really a nice feature. Both slide finish on the 365 and XL are the Nitron, so those are both the same. They're both striker-fired pistols, so the actions will be the same. They're both 9mm cartridges. So let's talk about the grip a little bit. The 365 comes with your flush 10-round mag as well as the extended pinky 10 round mag. So it will give you room for your pinky. A lot of people have complaints that it's too small. It uh, comes with the 12 plus one, which is 13 pounds. I think this thing with the extended mag, 15 plus one, it would be a really sweet shooter. As far as concealability, 10 plus one, I think this is the best option out there does give you some room for your pinky. If you want it super concealable, you go with the 10 round flush. Just gotta get used to shooting it that way with the pinky. As far as concealability, hands down the SIG P365. As you've seen from the measurements prior, it's both gonna be shorter length as well as height. So if you're a pocket gun type of guy or gal, sips up no problem. Highly recommend to get a pocket holster though. I typically do not like to leave my trigger exposed in any carry form. I carry this in the inside the waistband. So I have the inside the waistband holster and it is very comfortable. I like the fact that the barrel's shorter so when I sit down it doesn't dig into my thigh as much. That little bit of extra does make a difference.
In my opinion and experience, if you're looking for a total concealable option, the P365 is the way to go. 10 plus one, you got the flush magazine, you've got the peaky extension, that's still not too bad. So that's still really concealable. It's gonna be lighter, it's gonna be shorter, and overall length, shorter barrel. I like to wear inside the waistband. So the P365, when I sit in vehicles, sit at chairs to eat, stuff like that, it doesn't dig in my upper thigh. For me, it's more comfortable. The XL is going to be a little bit longer, a little bit heavier. The, the XL is gonna print a little bit more when you're wearing tighter clothes, especially in the summertime when you're going out and stuff like that. The XL, you could do both. You could actually wear it as a concealed, firearm and you could also take it to the range have the optics ready and have fun with it that way i think with the a little bit longer barrel and sight radius you're going to be a little bit more accurate on the excel i think there's going to be a little bit less snappiness with the excel as there would be the standard 365 so all depending how you answered your questions if it's something I'm going to carry every day, I really want it concealed, it's going to be to protect myself and my family. I'm only going to take it to the range when I practice. It's not going to be something that I'm out doing competitions, long range shooting, stuff like that. If I answer the question that yes, I do want to carry it, but yes, I do want the optics ready, availability to shoot, to do a little more target practice and have fun with it that way, then I would say the XL is your, your choice. Strictly a choice and opinion. I know some of the law enforcement agencies now are starting to use optics in their uh, duty, carry weapons. As far as concealability, I think it's going to be harder with the optic on it. It's going to be something that you're going to be knocking around, it's going to be getting in the way. Um, I just feel if you're going to do an everyday carry, I think the 365 is a better option. Either way, I think the SIG P365 or XL is an excellent choice. I think it's going to be great for shooting, for home protection, self protection, concealed carry. Get to the range, get one in the hand, talk to some people that happen to get the differences. You make the decision, and until next time, tie the gun guy!